two of the books that I recommended for the summer reading program explicitly talk about God. But the book that I want to talk to you about today does not. But I recommend it because it had a tremendous impact on me and my understanding of global migration in the 21st century. The name of the book is A Good Provider is One Who Leads. And it's the story of uh, actually three generations of a Filipino family. It begins in a Manila slum, and uh, a reporter who now works for the New York Times was trying to understand life there, and he came to live with this family. And over the course of three generations, he really becomes a part of them. He lives with them in different places, in different circumstances. And in this book, he tells their story. At the heart of the story is a woman named Rosalie. She grew up in this Manila slum, sleeping on a dirt floor. She longed to be a nurse, and her dream was to immigrate to the United States and serve in a hospital there. Against all odds, she managed to become a nurse, pass all of the tests, and it was through uh, trips and experiences and jobs really in numerous, on numerous continents and trips intermittently back home to the Philippines. In the midst of all of this study and time away, she married and had a family and it also, the author tells their stories, which even includes uh, one of the family members working on a cruise ship and uh, some of what happened to him as a result of that. In the end, Rosalie does manage to get a job in uh, Galveston, Texas, and she moves her family there. So in this part of the book, the author tells the story of how this family who had been apart so much of the time came to the United States and struggled to learn to live together as a family as well as adjust to new circumstances and learn a new language and a new culture. So I highly recommend this book. I found it to be extremely readable. I was absorbed by it and it inspired me and challenged me to think about global legal migration in this century in new ways.